The cost approach is typically used for unusual properties or those properties with specialized use for which market comparables are difficult to obtain. Under the cost approach, the value of building is equals to the value of the land plus the depreciated replacement cost of the building. To get the depreciated replacement cost, we will begin by estimating the replacement cost of the building, which includes the developer's profits. So this replacement cost is assuming that we are reconstructing the building and it's a brand new building. We will then apply adjustments to this replacement cost. So what we will first do is we will minus the physical deterioration and then we can have functional obsolescence, locational obsolescence and economic obsolescence. So all these are subtracted from the replacement cost. Under physical deterioration, we can have curable and incurable physical deterioration. And under functional obsolescence, you can also have curable and incurable functional obsolescence. Now let's look at an example. So for this particular property, the land value is estimated as $3.5 million using, uh, let's say, a comparable sales approach. The building cost per square foot is $300 and the total area is 50,000 square feet. We estimate that the developer's profit is $1 million and the curable physical deterioration is $1.5 million. Physical deterioration is related to the age of the property because the components of the property will wear out over time. And when we use the term curable, it means that when we fix the problem, it will add value that is at least as great as the cost of the cure. Then we have the actual age of the property, which is 15 years, but because of wear and tear, the effective age of the property is 20 years and the economic life is 60 years. The functional obsolescence is $640,000. This is the measure of the loss in value due to a design that is different from that of a new building constructed with an appropriate design for the intended use of the property. The locational obsolescence, $800,000, that is the estimate here. Okay, this is a measure of value, okay, uh, as in a loss that can happen after the building was constructed, which could have changed the desirability of the location for that existing use. And the economic obsolescence is estimated at $950,000. So economic obsolescence can happen if, let's say, new construction is not feasible under current economic conditions which means that the rent is not high enough to justify constructing that new building. Now, based on this information, we are going to estimate the value of the property using the cost approach. What we will first do is we will estimate the replacement cost of the building. Okay, so the building cost is $300 and then uh, per square foot and it's for 50,000 square feet. So if you take $300 times 50,000 square feet, so that will be $15 million, right? And then we are going to add the developer's profit. So that gives us $16 million in the building's uh, replacement cost. So at this point, the building is still brand new, but we will have to then apply all this deterioration and obsolescence to it. All right, so we'll go step by step. Now, what we need to do is uh, we'll start by deducting the curable, the curable physical deterioration. So we minus 1.5 million, that gives us 14.5 million. So it's important that we first subtract the curable physical deterioration before we compute the incurable physical deterioration. Okay, so that is an important step here. All right, so the next step, I'm going to estimate the incurable physical deterioration. So for this estimate, we will take the, uh, the effective age of the building instead of the actual age, don't use this. So we'll take the effective age, which is 20 years over the economic life, 60 years, multiply by the net amount we have here. So remember, we have to subtract the curable physical deterioration. So 20 over 60 times 14.5 million, that gives us 4.35 million, okay? So deducting that, okay, we'll minus this. So you will have 10, 
$6.15 million. Then we can proceed to minus all the three obsolescence here. So if you add these three number up, you will have 2.39 million. And of course, we will subtract this amount from the total value. Okay, so 10.15 million minus 2.39 million. So we get 7.76 .7 million. So this is the building's depreciated replacement cost. So the only remaining item that we need to add in now is the land value. Okay, so we just have to add in the land value, which is 3.5 million. So that gives us $11.26 million. This is the appraised value of the building and also the land.